Why, hello everyone and welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Sir You Are Being Hunted, an old game that I am just excited to be diving back into together with a friend. Will, how are you doing today? I'm doing bloody marvellous. Uh, it's, awesome. it's been a thousand years since we, we treaded these uh, hollow, the hollow halls of Blackpool, mm -hmm. the, the, <laughs> the damp depths of darkness. Yep. Way, way back in the day, before this place was called Playframe, Will and I uh, goofed around playing a little bit of this, and uh, you actually did a full you did a full playthrough of the thing, didn't you? Yo, you let me trundle around, and I think I half told about eight video game stories to people <laughs> <laughs> whilst trying to survive the once again incredibly accurate, real realistic British countryside. Yes. So for those of you who are not familiar with the game, and it's understandable because this game is well over ten years old at this point. Uh, Soon to be like remastered, as I understand it. Yes, uh, the team at uh, uh, Big Robots are working studiously towards a remaster of this. Yes, so it is. It is a game in which you are crashed on an island. There are lots of. It's a very British island, and there's lots of very British robots who are hunting you, and you have to try to survive and gather pieces of a thing and bring it to another thing without dying. Because, sir. You are being hunted. Exactly. And we're playing in multiplayer. Will and I are both in here. I don't know where Will is. I don't know where you are. For some we're reason, I thought... Yeah, I thought we were in a lot of trouble. I, I thought for some reason that it was going to drop us maybe in the same place to start. But instead, we just get to look for each other in a very scary world. Yeah, so we don't... Neither of us have a map by my understanding. Nope, um, nope, nope. My inventory is a bottle of booze, a rag, some old meat, and a rock. So, um, yep. not the worst thing I've woken up with. <laughs> Remove the old meat and the rock, and you've got what my inventory looks like. I do believe I see the like the main central objective stone in the distance. Uh, it's like a like a big circle on the uh, the the HUD, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that, and I see the uh, I see the balloon not too far from it with a searchlight looking for us. I'm just kind of heading in its general direction anyway, because I feel like either though, like not neither of us are armed, but I suspect no. still that being together is going to help somehow. Yeah, I, I mistakenly thought that it would put us both <laughs> together so we could come hang out, but no. Assumption is the mother of all ups. Mm -hmm. um, well, I have yet to see a robot yet, other than the balloon, obviously. And I don't know how, like, is the balloon's searchlight the main threat, or can you be seen even without being searchlight spotted? Oh yeah, uh, so it's like stealth game rules apply. The uh, the robots have a cone of hunting, uh, generating noise, disturbing birds. They will come track us. Gotcha. Um, and we have no ways to protect ourselves. See, now I think you should have to try and tell some games industry stories whilst <laughs> we're doing this, because last time I tried by myself and it was very hard. I bet it was very hard, yeah. But you, then you also had some familiarity with the game a little bit. I have played like a practice round or two, just enough to get some basic controls. It didn't go super well. It's not a very easy, uh, it's not a very easy game. Turns out, it is not. Uh, however, uh, guess who just got himself a pack of chocolate biscuits? So I Ooh. think if we were playing multiplayer versus, that officially makes me uh, winning. <laughs> So how would multiplayer versus in this work as opposed to uh, cooperative? I guess each we're all trying to achieve the objectives and it's whoever does it first? I think if it was uh, like a multiplayer versus, it would be whoever can be the most quintessentially British gotcha. by the end of the round. That makes so sense. Like, I've just eaten some chocolate digestive biscuits, which mm. those of you from the United Kingdom will know puts me five <laughs> points ahead of Dan. Well, I've just collected a bag of mints and a boiled haggis. Oh, it seems to me that there's a like really really clear order of operations between those two as to which should be eaten before the other. Yeah, if you consume the boiled haggis on Burns Night, you score double points for the rest of the day. <laughs> You're going to make a lot of jokes that I don't know. <laughs> right? No one expected a Burns Night reference. <laughs> God. I see robots now. I see robots in a far distance. Apparently the stones will be active in 30 seconds. Well, that's good. So the stones... We're going to need to go collect fragments of an I don't know what that'll be smoking uh, at various places on these islands and bring them to this place. Yes, in the center of the island, there are uh, there are magical stones. So the premise of this game, if you haven't seen it prior, is that uh, Dan and I are time travelers. And 
unfortunately, our magical time traveling pants broke on the way here. Mm hmm. I don't know what that is. I might be in trouble. Um, oh, I found the stones. Oh, thing. great. Uh, or uh, a giant microwave. Yeah, so our <laughs> magical time traveling pants broke and stranded us in very realistic Britain. Very realistic Britain. Uh, Dan and I must both acquire 10 magical pieces of MacGuffin to fix the stones so that we might return to whence we came. That's the goal. Unfortunately, we have very little to work with. Oop, 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 oop. That's a something. Do you see the glowy blue? I do see the glowy blue. Also a mounted robot running at me so fast. Oh yeah, it found me. Hello. Those are the robots. So uh, you are being hunted. Very. Ow. Oh no, Dad, I think I see you! You hit me. You ran over me. Yes. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna run away. Can we point out the fact that the jet horse also makes clip-clop sounds? <laughs> There's a lot to appreciate. Ow. I don't know why I'm trying to run a horse. Any uh, pro tips for managing to actually escape? <laughs> Dad, Never mind. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, Monty Python said it best, uh, how not to be seen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You appear to be dead. I will respawn. But I did survive for 6 minutes and 19 seconds, which... Not too terribly bad. And I respond where I started before. Okay, all right. I can work with this. So which direction are the stones from you? I might be able to reverse engineer your location and come meet you. I am on like up here, pretty far off to the west, it would seem. So I had headed pretty much due east to get to the stone, to the uh, the monolith. All right. I might be able to creep around this way. Um... Mind the mounted robot. Get no shit. <laughs> <laughs> But no, so So You Being Hunted was a fascinating game because it kind of, it broke a, oh, that is a huge hunting party coming for my face. Oh dear. Um, it broke a lot of ground. So it did kind of the emergent storytelling, but combined it with like survival gameplay. And despite at the time, very, very, very complex systems, it still had this sense of like approachable whimsy, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Very much. Some more rags, a lot of food that's junk or dubious that I think I'm just going to leave be. Yeah, we, and we desperately torch. need like a, an axe or a rifle or something. Some sort of weapon would be just so phenomenal for next time I get spotted by something. Ooh, a map. That'll be nice. Yeah, so Clip Cloppington is already around the, uh, the, the glowing blue area which we should frequent. That is unfortunate. Yep, uh, if, I see them now. Hmm. Perhaps if we team up and head to one of the other islands, that would be our uh, our maneuver. That could be something. So we we have, I believe, five or so uh, islands that we can move between. We're on the central one right now. Uh, yes. And if we can get to one of the other islands, it's not like there won't be robots there, but that's where some of the fragments might be. And I think we're going to need to find 10 out of 12 and bring them back to this thing here in order to win. Yes. The challenge, of course, being is that these fragments vary in size from teeny tiny to honking, chunking, great big monsters. Mm. So inventory management plus, you know, British courteousness management becomes a big part. <laughs> and Ooh. if you see these little tufts of smoke here, that is a sign that, oh, there's a fragment over there. And it could be that it's not guarded, but it could also be not that. There could just be some robots just sort of camping it, which is really uncool of them. And if you don't have a weapon, you're going to need something to distract them or... Something. I have yet to figure out a good way for escaping them once I've been spotted. I've tried things and none of them have worked. Um, sorry, I've gone very quiet because, uh, uh, well, yes, I have found a uh, a patriotic queen plate. I've also found some uh, some alarm clocks. Ooh. So while those don't necessarily help us get away, oh, you found a MacGuffin. I did. I found a thing. And I've got Ooh. plenty of inventory space on account of barely having anything. So I'm just going to try to see if I can get it close to the monolith. Um, Granted, I don't know what happens if I'm carrying this and I get defeated. If the piece remains on my body over near there or if it returns to its place. You know, I'm not sure. We'll um, find out. I've made my way to Old Dottage. Ooh. Um, uh, but I appear to have gotten mildly lost. Oh, oh uh, for, for resources, you can check varying houses and whatnot. Uh, I found like twenty clocks, um, which I'm going to, I'm going to try setting one off near Old Dottage just to give us a bit of breathing room. 
Um, because you can sprint by holding shift, obviously. Um, oh, and the, uh, the sparks of blue light. Uh, yeah, I was those, wondering about those. Those wisps. Wisps will always lead you towards a piece of MacGuffin. Ah, okay. Yeah, wisps are on our side. At least something is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had a whole plan that we'd start together and I'd take you through this adventure <laughs> and introduce you to things. Games like, nah, welcome to Blackpool. <laughs> Enjoy uh, your f***ing stay. You're both in it. All right. There's a... Ro are you getting shot at? I'm hearing something. So either something has seen me and I didn't even realize it. Or the... Um, the robots took a great umbrage against the uh, the clock that I left in old dotage. Also um, possible. Now, what's fascinating? So, like the team behind this have made multiple games since this uh, before they started the the remaster. So they did the inspired signal from Tolva, which was a little bit RTS, a little bit like uh, strange exploration with some fascinating mechanics. Um, and the other title they did was the Light Keeps Us Safe. Uh, a game about a world taken over by robots, shocking, uh, where the sun has been shattered. Ooh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, that one sadly didn't get a chance to, to, to finish up to its entirety. Um, I know it's one of those games they had much higher intentions for and didn't get the chance to finish. <laughs> but, yeah... I forgot how hard it is to play this game and talk to people. Yeah, no, it's very intense. I, like, I'm just crouching very slowly because there's just there's a lot of them everywhere, and they're really not leaving the uh, monolith alone. Um, and for dinner, my character is having some uh, dubious blackberries and a bottle of stout. So yeah, I probably uh, should I... eat something too. An apple, sure. Yeah. There we go. So you have health as a number and also vitality. And I'll be honest, I don't 100% know what vitality. I guess if it runs out, your health starts doing the same. Control or bingo. Uh, so just snack upon the uh, the great British uh, cuisine and delicacies. <laughs> um, you know, the, the thing that everyone says about the British Isles, that great food. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I've heard that. God. And you know the thing you were saying earlier? I don't know if it was before the, the episode started, but you were saying about how this game was very ahead of its time. You know what? Yeah. This dropped before the big Zerg of Twitch, you know? Yeah, like, like it was around when, like, in the early Twitch days, but not when Twitch was to the scale it is now, where a game like this has the chance to be, like, to be marketed for by Twitch in the same way. I feel like, there again, there's a remaster for this game set to be coming out, I don't know how soon, but not too far in the future, and... Boy, that sound makes yeah. me uncomfortable. Yeah, and really I get the feel not enjoying that. <laughs> I get the feeling that this could give the game a second chance to really uh, hit it big. And, uh, I mean, the the team over there, they're a fascinating team because I believe they were founded by, like, uh, ex-Rock uh, Paper Shotgun Jonos. Oh, cool. Kind of came together to, to form a team. Please correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But uh, they're a lovely bunch. Uh, I got to share um, a, uh, a booth space with them at uh, EGX Res a thousand years ago um, when they were, I think they were still uh, showing off uh, the signal from Tolva. Yeah. Oh, God, that. Sorry, I found a teleporter piece and it is the size of a small Winnebago. So, <laughs> f me, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, get this piece close. And I'm pretty close now, but. I've been seeing patrols. Yeah. Eh, tempted to just... Oh, no. What's happened? Uh, basically, I died oh, from radiation from carrying uh, a very, very, very large piece of nonsense. Oh, these radio... Oh, no. I've been seen. All right. Well, I better go ahead and drop this off quickly before I die. Quick. Run. All right. You know what? I'm going to stay by this pier. Ow. I'm going to hang out here. I'm okay. I'm okay. Leave it. There it is. Dropped it off. All right. Do your yeah. worst, robot. <laughs> it did. Nine remain. It did. Dan has been killed. <laughs> I mean, you need oh, to be like... Uh, like, do we have like a limited number of lives in here? I don't believe so. Oh, oh the nine remain was the was the piece. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, though you do need a, a suitable British name for this, like, you know, Danielton Smythe or something mm, along those lines. Yes. Mm, let me think. All right. So, I have expired. I'm waiting to see if you uh, pop up. Hey! 
Yay! Ooh, I found it's us. Yay! Woo! We're here and alive at the same time. Greetings, Grand. Sir Daniel. Hello. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Oh, this is so lovely. Should we like? I feel like there's got to be a boat around here. We could head to another island if we wanted. Um, let's have a look and see if it lets us. Okay. Because usually when playing this game, uh, single player, is you'd head to head to these little boats, and it'd be like, oh, heading off to the the other island. Yeah, let's see what it permits. Whoa. You're right there. <laughs> uh, apparently, there is no island for us to go to. Oh, um, dear. I'm sorry that our, our boating outing must come to a close. Alas. No, alas is from the north. When you're from the <laughs> south, it's a lady. <laughs> In some ways, I mean, Floyd, like, itself is the British looking at a Welsh name and thinking, no. <laughs> So in some ways, <laughs> this is already a very British name I have. <laughs> you know what? I hadn't considered it like that. <laughs> oh, God, the sound design on this is still incredible. The ominous noises emanating from varying pieces of mischief. All right, let's let's hit a couple of these little uh, these little townhouses. See if we let's can do. scrounge up a few goodies. Yeah, if we, one of us can find a weapon, then we can bean one of those guys to death, and. When you attack uh, the robots, there's like a 50-50 chance that the weapon will be broken. <laughs> of so, course. Ah, uh, don't worry, Dan. Our problems are over, for I have found five dead rats and a rotten egg. Ah. <laughs> we are saved. <laughs> Hooray. Hmm. Oh, no. Well, there's another here, a little cluster of buildings, which may be populated, and a piece of the teleporter not too far from it, from the looks of it. Well, to our northeast, I see a couple of like a small hunting. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a lot of them. Did you uh, did you see those birds take to the skies? I did. I should yeah, probably move. Yeah, so huh? did they. Yeah, I was wondering why they were running in this direction. Quick to the shrubbery. <laughs> I think uh, C is yeah, C is crouch. Uh, so so long as we don't starve to death, I think we can creep around this village. Um, sneak, sneak, but, yeah. sneak. At the time, this game was heralded for its like reactionary uh, AI, uh, which also resulted in some f***ing hilarious bugs. So there was a bug <laughs> where crows would cause other crows to freak out, creating this map-wide crow exodus, <laughs> which would cause everyone to freak the feck out. Uh, all right, so Dan, we're gonna head through the f we're gonna head through the field. Okay, okay, uh, and see if there's a different village around because. The bots will be in that little uh, that little cul-de-sac for quite some time. Yeah. Scary place to be. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we shared a booth with the team behind this uh, EGX Res, and they were such lovely folks. Like, um, I really want to see uh, the So You're Being Hunted remaster just kick ass. I would love that. I'm seeing something with glowing eyes up here, and I can't tell if it's a, like a scarecrow or a... What do you see? It hasn't really been moving much. It looks like a scarecrow, but it does have, like, something red on it. I think it might be a bot of some variety. It's got, like, a hat. It's swaying. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with it. I don't remember them, but I have killed a large proportion of my long-term memory with, uh, gin. <laughs> so... <laughs> and it does seem like it keeps on... I think it's moving very slowly towards me, because it's, like, no matter where I move, it's still facing me. <laughs> You're probably fine. That's yeah, fine. Oh! There are a large number of robots coming towards us. Oh, good. Oh, you're right. Stay in the long grass. Shit, I've lost you. I think the scarecrow might have given them a heads up. You traitorous Halloween bad word. How could you do? <laughs> oh, no. They found you. And they're still shooting, which leads me to think they've... Well... Uh, they shot me right in my hecking face. Uh, oh, I have been killed very quickly. Yeah, there's no run. That uh, that mounted one sees you so easy. Has no qualms. On the plus side, it's a very difficult game, but it's like, oh, and you're right here. Yeah, and also like the multiplayer is designed for teams of like three and four. It's more kind of like a uh, an experiential. So all the bots are turned up to eleven. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. Well, because what I was gonna say is, if we had qualms with the multiplayer. Um, we could do a you play, I watch of uh, the single player because it's thoroughly <laughs> entertaining. Also true. I feel like this is a good way to start. Like, so y'all are seeing a 
it's not an easy game, regardless. You do have no. to like, t you have to take the stealth very seriously and treat it as if you were playing like PUBG against humans in terms of like, could they see me from here? Because they pros very possibly could. Mm. You gotta it's take very, it very seriously. It's somewhat clear with the visibility meter as to how much you can be seen. Yes, but you can see that down there in kind of the bottom left a little bit. Like if I crouch, uh, a lot of that, like I'm moving very slowly, so you can see like one ring, or if I'm in the shrubbery, nothing. But if I stand up, way more. If I sprint, there's three rings around me, so like they're clear with that, and that's nice. Uh, but it does promote you into kind of like taking a, a slow stroll around the uh, the British Isles, which is mm -hmm. lovely. So scenic. Um, and I guess there's a there's a MacGuffin over this way. Okay. So what I'm thinking is grab a MacGuffin and hit this. Oh. What the, the heck? What just hit me? Yeah, something hit me too. Uh. What the bloody hell was that? I don't know. Made me jump at something fierce. Are we in like shallow water right now? There's nothing that can like get us in shallow water, is there? Not that I know of, but. Hmm. I guess we're learning. Unless it's uh, uh, our good friend Tentacles. Oh, there could be that, right. There are some water robot type things yes. that will discourage you from getting into the water in certain locations. Trust me, you'll know them when you see them. Oh, this is the one that uh, cooked me hardcore. No, I am good. <laughs> <I think laughs> oh yeah, I've not seen one glowing one. before. Goodness. Yeah, it's a little too spicy for my, uh, for my feeble British hands. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Well, here's a little settlement mm. that's not yet bustling, from what I can yeah. see. Oh, Clippy Cloppy, uh, Lord Clippy Cloppington is down the road, but I don't oh, think he's spotted us yet. But there should be enough stores and shops here. I mean, maybe we get lucky. Maybe find a gun and an axe. And That'd be... Uh, there's birds. Cool. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yep. Yeah. Grab it. things, prepare to run. Found some bullets. Ooh, well, that's uh, and something. A couple of boots. Uh, if I can only work out how to use them, I will be sitting pretty. I guess sitting I pretty. You're gonna give them points for like this is a very like you can feel the game's age with a lot of the graphics, especially with like the like player characters moving around and everything. The vibes of this environment are still actually quite effective despite I, that. It's it it feels uncanny and upsettingly tense at times. <laughs> oh yeah, right. they're definitely. Hunting this away. Oh, peoples. Oh, man. Oh, I was just about to hit up the Tweed wholesalers as well. <laughs> I might see if this. Uh... Oh no, they are. They are marching that way. Brilliant! I have a handful of bullets. Maybe I can throw them in vague distraction. <laughs> it's a bit more than I have. I'm sure the stout's good, though. Oh, yeah. Get you a, get you a... Okay, apparently I'm just laden with uh, jam and bullets and nothing to do with them. <laughs> it's a very British problem to have. <laughs> but no, it's one of the reasons why I was so excited to, to come back to this, especially with you, not just because it's a thing we played like a thousand years ago, yeah. but also because there really is something special to this game. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I'm not good at it. I've never succeeded or gotten even close to succeeding at it in any way. But there is something just about this, the specific vibe they've created here that really, uh, All that right. really is compelling. And I feel like, like we've said, if given a second chance, I feel like this game has potential, uh, to spread far and wide. I definitely see some robots moving cityward. At a speed I was, pace. I was, I was playing with tiny trains, which was, <laughs> in retrospect, an ill-advised maneuver. All right. So you can avoid the robots if you can get out of their line of sight and hide. Just gotcha. like crouch down the long grass. That's noted. They, so if you can get, yeah, so you get complete invisibility in the grass, maybe you'll be okay. But they are not stupid. Uh, I don't know if you heard the choo-choo of the tiny train set that I put down, but let me tell you, <laughs> it was a dumb idea that I did loud, and I nearly got my 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 flat cap blown asunder because of it. Oh boy, my visibility is too much right now to be in any proximity to that mounted one. 
See, it's fascinating because like now we have games like um, Phasmophobia or Phantasmophobia, as I will call it to annoy Fiona until the end of time. Um, <laughs> And, you know, we have all these, like, experiential and survival games that hit different beats, but there's still something weirdly special about this. Um, I agree. I I don't know a better way to describe it than dark whimsy. Yeah, yeah. A very special kind of dark whimsy, which there's, like, if you play this in single player, there's also kind of a little muffly robot narrator, butler type, kind of helping to guide you through things a little bit. Indeed. Uh, providing you with information, letting you know how badly you have hecked up by getting yourself yeah. trapped in this robot hell dimension. Uh, also, as a completely pointless fact, but uh, one that I love, uh, Professor Elemental, uh, seminal chap hop rapper and thoroughly all-round lovely individual, uh, did a, uh, a track for this. Really? Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. My, I wouldn't say it's a claim to fame. Uh, he did one for... Um, uh, Fall of the Samurai as well, which was very cool. Oh, it is very cool. And if you want to know what else is very cool, I have found a rifle. Yes! Dan, a stick with of a dynamite. Gun. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, now I regret being uh, split up because I have lots of bullets. I have a revolver <laughs> ammo, which is not as useful for the rifle. Sadly, no. I will trade you. Uh, I will <laughs> trade you my, uh, my collector's edition uh, robotic queen collectible commemorative plate. <laughs> uh, for protection. <laughs> and protection you shall have, assuming... No one seems to have noticed me over here. Lord Cl Hey! Uh, so, we could start a fire, but that Ooh. would give us the feck away. Oh, boy. But we can cook meat. Oh, here you are. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Dan, Coppington put... is not far. Okay, I'm going to put the... Eef. Is he rearing because he saw us? No. I'm going to put the bullets in here, the rifle ammo. See if oh, okay. So it. that I was wondering how we would trade stuff. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I did lie. I actually dropped the uh, Queen's commemorative plate on the way here. Ugh. So if you. Is just having the bullets in the inventory enough? Uh, I assume it must yes. be. Yes. Okay, but cool. the rifle is a finicky creature. It is a. Uh, I have a hatchet big... as well. I'm putting that in here so you can have it. You can have the dynamite yes. too if you want, in case the hatchet doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so, worst case, worst case, I can be the. Um... Yeah. Uh, I realized I didn't finish that sentence because I was a mite nervous. It's a, Yes, uh, no, we're very tense right now. And I love how wobbly this rifle is. This feels. Great. <laughs> yeah. So it is a honking chunker of a rifle. It will make robots regret their decisions, but it is very precise despite having imprecise um, sights, as you've probably yep. noticed by now. So I can see. All the same. Just, uh, <laughs> like, it's it feels bad, but in a very charming and good way. <laughs> Dan and Will hanging out with an axe and a gun. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> going to survive the robots. We're going to do British crimes. <laughs> And I feel like we're a little more in the clear now. I think the rider has moved on, finally. Hopefully. My head up. I think so, but I hear... I hear the, the, the telltale bleep bloopins. Hmm. All right. Worst case, Dan, as, as you now have the rifle, if we get spotted, I'll charge forward. You, you, just, you just tell my incredibly British uh, family... Uh, that I, I died honorably fighting the robot menace. <laughs> I'd be happy to. And my British family is, of course, uh, the same as my regular family, but uh, all the guinea pigs have flat caps. <laughs> that sounds adorable. <laughs> yeah, now I need to find out where I can buy flat caps with guinea pigs. Hmm. Uh, I think I hear Lord Cliff Cloppington out this way. Well, we're a little better yeah. armed, but we still there is still the concern of getting oh, pieces geez. to that thing. There he is. Hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's the, there's the rider. Now you could try beating him with a shot. We could try luring him over here with an alarm clock. Also true. Um, I guess if he sees us, he tends to like kind of charge right at you, which seems like the ideal conditions to be shooting at him. 
It's not going to be moving. <laughs> All right, so let's let's be clever about this. So okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop down uh, an alarm clock right about here. Okay. Okay. So find yourself a nice a nice spot to hang out. Yeah. This will this will bring the herd. Very exciting. And then, and then when we're ready, uh, we can we can pounce upon them. I've got my axe. I've and got my, my gun. I'm excited. Don't worry, Dan. We'll get through this with the power of friendship. Oh yes. And that gun you found. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited to see how this goes, one way or another. <laughs> Have I just doomed us both? Let's find out. Either way, it'll make for a very good story. Come on, robots. Jesus, what did I set this timer to? <laughs> Next week? <laughs> there it is. Weirdly, it seems like you would think night would be sort of like the scarier time to be out and about, but weirdly, like, it makes the robots easier to spot, and I think it helps with your visibility as well. Oh, God, yes. Robots. Come hither. All right. Let's wait for them all to, to bunch up a little. Yes, yes. Here he comes. Right. Dynamite! Yes! Away! Yeah! Get f done! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need a better catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you get him? Yeah, he's down! Yay! All right, now did he just, did we just blow him to smithereens? Or did he drop anything? Oh, we, ah, I blew him up. Ah, uh, alas, still. No, no corpse to speak of. Feels good. Yeah. I should eat something. Pickled eggs, pickled onions. Ugh, a fine piece of game. Usable at fires, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, well, we could start a fire here if you want to cook it up, because. <laughs> you can have a fire anywhere. Everything's flammable if you try hard enough. No, so that campfire that you were hanging out by uh, in the, uh, the little uh, busted up cottage. Oh, right, 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 of course. Yeah, we can we can cook up your food there. That's a great idea. Um, Why not? A celebratory yeah. meal. Uh, and plus, if it brings them over to us, well, Why how not? the, the turntables have turned. <laughs> uh, also, so I've here's got... the thing I don't know. Do the robots continue to sort of like... Uh, there you go. Becoming an issue... Matches infinitely or uh do they like here we go use oh that's so much meat let me leave some in the room so you can have some thank you thank you thank you oh shit. there you go oh shit. click cloppington's back oh no back for revenge hiding near the fire hoping you can't see me Do the robots, like, stay dead? If you could, like, could you slowly depopulate this island of robots? Only to an extent. Oh, more are coming. Yeah, Shit. yeah, they are. I severely overestimated how safe we were. On the plus side, good food. Bit of roast game. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Dan, you might have to go on without me. Dude's doing uh -oh. f***ing donuts around the campfire and I'm hiding here with my axe. <laughs> Maybe I can distract him. I mean, the only other option is I go out like uh, Matthew McConaughey in uh, Reign of Fire, screaming and wielding <laughs> an axe very quickly. If I can get a good angle where I can actually see him. Yeah. Guy, where are you? For someone who's just... Walking was, around the fire. For someone who was all up in our business a second ago. Yeah, where'd you go? I assume it's like time for the archers or uh, there's a cricket match on because he seems to have f***ed royally off. I wonder, like if the stones become active, does that like draw them away? I wonder. Or perhaps the stones being active is like the, the cycle, like um, that's the only time where we can escape or where we can like dunk. May oh, okay. that could be as well. Because yeah, you know, he's, he's run off. We're in the clear. All right. So I see a couple of robots over there in the long grass to our uh, to our southwest. Hmm. I'm glad you spotted that because I hadn't. I say let's 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 make them regret their robotic existence. I love that. Yes. Let's, let's do. send them back to the toasters. What bore them? <laughs> 
I actually wish I hadn't said that out loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sounded cool at the time. At the time. Hmm. I do love how wobbly they are. Just as little, very British looking game hunters, but as robots. Oh, there's like five of them. There's a lot of them behind them, I though. They have severely f***ed up. Yeah, oh, and there's, a, there's Cloppington as well. This is definitely a a group who is waiting for us to do something stupid. Yeah. All right. So let's go back the way we came. Yeah, maybe you're right there. Uh, but first, I shall leave them a little a little TikTok clock present. Oh, that'll be fun. I shall keep them nice and distracted. Um, yeah, what's our next objective here? Uh, I mean, we should be trying to hoover up a few more of the, um, the MacGuffins. Mm-hmm. Um, let me check the post to see if anything's come for us. Oh. Uh, no. Didn't know even know that was a thing. What's hilarious is all the post boxes are all marked in binary. <laughs> I believe if you take the time to translate, there's a couple of humorous messages. I'm sure. <laughs> That's very cute. All right, but it should mean that we'll be able to hit that village that we were heading to. Hey, why not? I guess this is the thing this game does so well, is that feeling of progression as you move from, like, one space to another. Yeah. I do feel like we're achieving things, even though we've really only, like, turned in one piece of MacGuffin so far. I mean, we cooked up a couple of roast birds. That's true. Now they're all very distracted by the alarm. So very distracted. In we sneak. Lovely. And I feel very... Like much safer holding this rifle, even though I don't really think I could <laughs> use it in a pinch. Uh, the reload on it is very slow. Oh. oh, peoples. Indeed. Another hunting party. How big of one? Uh, by my estimations, four, maybe five uh, hunters, uh, two robo dogs. Ooh. Yeah, the robo dogs are no joke. And uh, it seems since we slayed Lord Cloppington, the amount of others... Oh, they are absolutely... I, I think we've been encircled. Oh. Oh, that's fun. This is not good. It does feel like they are in all the directions I look in. Uh, where they might want not once have been prior. Mm-hmm. Just keep moving through the long grass, nice and quiet. I really took that personal. Yeah, we. D I mean, we did slay one of the the lords of the manor. Hmm. A lord of cinder has fallen. I am leading us into a bad place, hiding in the brush so they don't look at me. Yeah. Goodness, they are everywhere. Not to uh, slam home the stereotype, but my character is slugging tea whilst I'm slugging tea uh, in both situations <laughs> to stay alive. <laughs> <sighs> I'm moving closer to the settlement, which feels like a poor idea, but I mean, they're everywhere else too, so like... They're closing in on us. We've got to press forward. Yeah. Uh, if we can slip through the settlement, we might be able to hit a different village, maybe pick up a few things. Uh, Main Street seems like suicide. Yeah, it's very well lit. Boy, what I would give for a stealth takedown right about now. F***ing yo! If I ever have to hear Solid Snake whinge about uh, CQC and stealth again, so help me. This bloody tranquilized sniper rifle. What have we got? Uh, we've got... Move, fellow. Uh, stout British... Oh, wait, no! British gumption, of course! British gumption? British gumption. All right, so I'm going to throw a bottle to our left. Oh. What do you think? I think that that one guy doesn't give a hot s***. Ah, no. run! Run! Remember me! Yeah, that oh, one guy's not very so Oh, the dog found me. The dog found me. I've been found by the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've been noticed. Dog, 
Where? What happened? Are you still alive as well? I shouldn't be, and I can't really move. Oh, is it bitten onto your arm? M maybe it has. I'm so stuck. To, you may have to pry your your jewels. You may have to pry his jewels free of your. Uh... I can't even see the dog anymore. I do have this gun though, and that's fun. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Uh -huh. then... Oh, I should reload. That'll work better. Yeah. Then is that? There we go. They don't seem to be very good at noticing me, despite my good shooting. Also, they're very sturdy. These robots. Why won't you die? I'm possibly just missing a lot. Or over, like, shooting over his head or something. Bunch of warning shots. Here, I'll aim a little more toward the body here. Okay. Or this is a case of, like, um... The server uh, being a little bit on the fritz? If not the server, then you know what it is. It's probably huh. tea time. Oh, it's tea. Oh, of course. Yes. So it means that they've all engaged in full-on pacifism mode. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well. I can't really move still. Where am I? Ah, come on. I'm stuck in something. I say, old, I say, old chap, I, we appear to have uh, slipped into a hole of space time while the robots are having tea time. Because <laughs> I have attempted oh. to loosen this gentleman's head from his shoulders, and he is taking absolute offense to it. Yeah, free me. I'm near dead from something. Couldn't tell you what, though. Yeah, so. Anyway, I, I'm glad that this game is getting another chance soon, though, because, like, clearly this is a little <laughs> rough around the edges in terms of the multiplayer experience. Yeah, which it, did, mean, it didn't launch with it, either. No, no, this was a post-launch thing, and it was never really intended for this. It was always intended to be a, a tense and personal experience. Yeah. Stop but I haven't really feel with it. your I'm... robotic tea time and address me! Sa! <laughs> Sa! Or, or kill me at the very least. This, hey. Frankly, it's rude! Fucking <laughs> way! I am offended by this treatment. I turn Help. Nixon. I can't escape the tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, the tree has you now. Yeah, the tree does definitely have me now. Um, although, thankfully, those kinds of uh, grasping trees are only common in the Blackpool region of the United Kingdom, so it's not a thing you have to worry about. <laughs> Yeah, just all, all right. robots don't care anymore, huh? Come on, Clip Cloppington, let's f***ing rumble! Ow! Oh, sh It's been solved! I'm free! And now I'm back in the game. Minus one rifle, tragically, but... Or am I back in the game? I'm not entirely sure. Though your corpse... This. Your corpse is still there. Oh, well that's cool. I still can't move, though. Hang on, let me get out of the server and back in. Okie dokie. Uh, I shall uh, I shall follow suit, good sir. Um, but no, the fact they've got like a, a new version coming up of this, I, I wouldn't want them to focus on multiplayer. I, I don't think it's... There is the something thing... to the solitary experience that feels more correct for this. Mm. But I am enjoying this aspect as well. Like, I, it still definitely works and still definitely feels very tense. Hmm. I found, you know, that's a fascinating thing when you think about it, is that we happy few um, ended up trying to emulate this experience and really didn't hit the beats on it. I didn't end up trying that. Yeah, did, did were you able to, like, kind of identify what made it feel not quite there? Well, I think it's because the, the style and the pre-launch assets and the things about that game really spoke to a really strong, unhinged, psychedelic narrative. But the game was kind of a less polished survival title, you know, focusing on... Um, oh, there we go. And I'm back in. Yeah, I am as well. Um, yeah, it was focusing on survival, but uh, it added a mechanic that I don't think works well with titles like that, which is having to manage sleep. Mm, I see. Yeah, I can sort of see that. Like, I understand the the want to emulate like a certain amount of like realistic survival, but 
Um, I mean, not that you need me to tell you, but in a lot of games, realism doesn't always equal realistic. Yeah, yeah. Nor does it equal in always interesting either. <laughs> Indeed. I, I absolutely f***ing love um, uh, Escape from Tarkov, but my character apparently has some wasting disease where if he doesn't drink orange juice every 15 minutes, he just <laughs> dies. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy some orange juice myself, but, like... But the amount of time it takes before I keel over is... It, it's its longer than 20 minutes. Given I have nothing to lose, I'm grabbing this one glowing fragment, and I'm running for it. You know what? F it, I'm with you. Yeah. It's a gorgeous, sunny day in Britain. Yeah, we've got nothing to lose. I'm by a dismembered... Just uh, by a mangled pub and some weird nonsense. Yep. It's all coming together. This is the closest you'll get to beautiful weather. <laughs> this is actually the Great British Summer that you're getting to experience. <laughs> Overcast with only a threat of rain. It's lovely. Weirdly, the robots are kind of permitting this. Like, no one's noticed me. I just sprinted the whole way there. But the stones aren't active. Oh, we have to wait till they're active before we can turn them in. I see. All right. Well, I'll try and I'll try and meet you at the stones because I've done the same thing. I don't know if that's how it works in the single player. I feel like in single player you can just drop them off whenever. No, you can drop them off whenever. But the amount of lengths you have to go to. So, for those who haven't seen So You're Being Hunted before, there are actually five islands, and the central island is the only place where you can drop off these magical stones to to get you back home. But uh, as you've probably seen on uh, on Dan's inventory, some of those stones are hecking massive. Very large. So you have to have enough food and supplies to survive and get by alongside gigantic weapons that take up your whole inventory. And then you have to smuggle the stones back, so you end up having to drop things. And that's where kind of like the strategy of it starts coming together. Trying to find some good brush to hide in until these... This thing becomes active and I can turn in the rock. Yeah, I'm trying not to, to run over there and accidentally disturb the hole. There we go. Nice, sneaky little spot. To just hide. Yep, just hang on out. And eat a dense fruitcake. Ah, yes. Fruitcake, one of Britain's most disappointing creations. <laughs> Oh, you're here as well. Nice. Lovely. Oh, am I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... Hello. Oh, shit. Dude, I did not see you in the slightest. I'm good. I, that's the that's the whole plan right now. <laughs> <laughs> Being um, invisible. I think that was what was so good about doing a full playthrough of this, is you get these moments of calm where you can talk about stuff, chat, and hang out, and talk about how British fruitcake is a disappointment to humanity. Um, <laughs> but you're never guaranteed. Something could happen. It is true. I feel like once you learn a lot of stealth games well enough, maybe this is just my experience, but it feels like the stealth aspect falls more and more by the wayside once you learn enough of the rules and what you can do within them. Like, early, early Metal Gear Solid Five, for example, you may move very slowly and carefully, sneaking through, watching the patterns, waiting for minutes at a time for the opening to sneak into a place. And then halfway through the game, you'll have figured out, I know what all my tools are. I can get up to all kinds of nonsense. I'm charging in there and just seeing what happens. Yeah, let's let's go have some fun. Exactly. Like, it's it's very fun that way, too. But, like, uh, I do appreciate that there's not really a lot of ways you can do that in this game. You you may just have to sit and wait very carefully while you're being hunted. While you're being hunted, sir. 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 Um... But what's fascinating about this is that while we're getting all of the, I think almost all of the enemy types, you know, we haven't seen the um, the landlord and we haven't seen the strider, mm. but there's there's a large number of enemies that we are getting like immediately off the bat. Whereas OG, oh, so you're being hunted at the beginning when you have nothing, you're only really encountering like the the hunters and maybe the dogs, and then slowly, slowly they start adding the balloons. You know, the Lord Clip Cloppington. Yep. Yeah, just more and more threats. Yeah, tenser and tenser. Fortunately, you don't have to, in the single player game, you don't have to like, you don't have to have to succeed all in one run. Death is not the end. Basically, every time you get back to the big monolith and turn in a rock, you can save. Uh, yes. Oh. 30 seconds, all right. 
Oh, okay. We're, we're good, but one of the uh, robo puppies just went careening through the brush. Oh, boy. I had a little, uh, a little squeaky bumhole moment, as we like to say. <laughs> so I'll have a little Let's snack for buttocks. the nerves. <laughs> yeah, what have I got left? Uh, just but, some stout. Mm, I don't expect to last long, but I'm just very, like, so long as I get this turned in. There we go. There so we long go. as I get this turned in before I die. That's all that matters. Slam dunk! We Run! can do it! Woo! Can't be stopped, won't be stopped, here we go, boom! There it is! Can't stop, won't stop! Yeah! Boom! Look at that! Two down! Two dunked. Now we just need, question mark, eight more! Eight more! Oh god! Um, but no, it's one of the things that um, I find fascinating with a lot of, uh, at least the Kojima Productions design philosophies, Mm -hmm. is that they set up these fascinating systems and then slowly give you more and more tools to handle them. But by end game, none of the systems can affect you because you have every solution. Um, like Metal Gear Solid Five at the beginning, like avoiding and handling situations requires some incredibly smart, clever thinking and all sorts. But by the end, you know, you've got a, a silenced, tranquilizing sniper rifle that makes <laughs> enemies go snoozy, snoozy, bye-bye for at least a few hours. That is true. There was one point where what would have been a challenging operation, I believe I had to infiltrate like a an airport or something. I just posted up across the hill with my rifle and a cup of tea and just made everyone go for a nap. No deaths, <laughs> no noticeable influence. Similar strategy for myself. And it sounded like Death Stranding did the same thing, though I think that that was maybe more to the game's betterment in that way. Like, it starts off extremely slow, walking everywhere. Over time, as you develop infrastructure and get more tools, you can start scooting through a lot of places. Uh, but, like, you're grateful for that at that point. I, I agree, except for... I will, oh, I've got an axe. All right, we're ready to do this. Uh, I will say that the, um, the, the skylines are a step too far. Because <laughs> um, once you reach late game in Death Stranding, you know, you have a vehicle, you have a lot of tools for dealing with difficult deliveries and things like that. But the sky zip lines allow you to just bypass whole swaths of the world. Mm. And on a flip side, like, I find the, I, I find the movement to be kind of uh -oh. the, one of the best parts of the game. You know, I don't, I don't want to walk around less. I guess that makes me the odd the odd duck on that one. <laughs> yeah, that, that, what an interesting game. I'm glad he still somehow keeps getting given money to make things. Fucking right. And even if I don't particularly like any given one or want to play any given one, I'm glad they exist. Yeah, I was. Ooh, guess you got a trap. Um, that should be very handy later. I, I will say, like, um, uh, I'm glad I got to do. Uh, Death Stranding as a as a stream, because uh, there's so much of not a lot that happens, and yeah. the pacing is good. It's intentional. I really appreciate it. But oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, that'd be a very difficult YouTube game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the stones are now active, but I haven't a rock to turn into them, and I feel like if I could get one more rock. I feel like I want to, before we wrap up, I want to get one more attempt at getting one more of these pieces to that thing. All right. Uh, I've got a cracked British teapot and a sense of whimsy. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> That'll look great on a gravestone. <laughs> As last words go. As last words go, I have a sense of whimsy. Um, okay, you see the smoking uh, crater over that way? I think uh, To I... our east, southeast. Southeast, southeast, southeast. A little plume of grey smoke. I think so. Hang on. Get closer to you here. I do see... Oh, yeah, inside the uh, inside the little building there. All right, so let's... Um, oh, the other one further away, I see. Yeah, we do have okay. a few a little to the right of that. So I have a plan. I'm going to head over to the uh, the busted-down church. Okay. I'm going to set an alarm. So Ooh. get yourself a, get yourself a nice spot. If if your goal before we call it this afternoon is to to dunk one more rock, then by golly Jove, British <laughs> nonsense! I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> That's lovely. That was the most British I could think of. I enjoyed it. Of course, now now I've made such a declaration, and 
Get a bit. All right, this should be good enough. I'm by the pub. Oh, actually, sorry, I, for I forgot to ask if you wanted anything from the pub. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm okay. I've still I've got a bottle of stout, a drop of sherry, some loose shotgun shells. Everything you need for a fun night out. All right, I've set a fire. There's Ooh. no way. Oh, I have an equipable tuba. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? things are about to get weird. Oh, All right, I didn't Dan. know that was a thing. Remind, remember me as I was. And uh oh, there they go. I don't think I've been spotted, which is wild. No, no, I've been spotted. There's a dog as well. We were on. Oh no, the dog, the dog though. Dog no. Wait, so I I just got myself tuba soloed for nothing. <laughs> right, you, well. you played me out well though. <laughs> <laughs> but at what cost? Uh. Well, here, I'll run and f like, it'll be a. S we'll prove why running and sprinting doesn't work. Yes. As a strategy, I'm gonna run the first smoldering pile I see, which is I think near this building, or maybe that's just the building itself. Hard to say. I will grab and pick up the first rock I can find and run it to the place. I don't think it's going to work. Ah, it's just a fireplace. Uh, come on. So I was going to say one of the things I appreciate about this game is that you can drink a stout and you don't see, you don't get any negative effects from being riggedy sh faced. Uh, and then I forgot <laughs> that it wasn't a stout, it was a whiskey, and now I am wobbly tuba man, stomping <laughs> through the brushes and the swamps, just going burp. I feel like that is the, like if you've got the story, like a war story of a British general or lieutenant or sergeant or something, it is the one who would be just out walking in the open with a cane and a tuba, who's definitely <laughs> had some drinks, who would survive the entire war. Come with me, boys! Do you want to live forever? Proceeds to play tuba badly. <laughs> <laughs> the whole rest of the regiment, he would, he would lose like four or five regiments completely, the sole survivor, and would just be untouchable. God, caffeine's gonna be livid at me because this is the point where I should tell the story about the uh, the gentleman that went into battle with like a, a feckin' bow and arrow and a claymore. Um, <laughs> and I cannot remember the gentleman's name. It is a glorious story. Um, gotta love it when history throws you a, a, a character too fantastical to be real. <laughs> I do always appreciate that. All right, I've found a rock in need of delivery. That balloon but has what'll taken happen? All right, I'm, I'm by the I'm by the stone. Oof, there's a lot of them. them. But there's a lot of them, but there will be no sneaking today. The search balloon is incredibly offended by my existence. Sprint is all I have. Yeah, I see the search balloon in the distance. I've got a bit of a hike, and maybe a little bit of water in the way. I don't know if you can. Can you like swim? Uh, a little. Uh, actually, I think you can swim. Uh, but it's... Oh, God, they are coming out of the ruddy woodwork. Uh, you can swim, but uh, tentacles will grab you if you go outside the island. Gotcha. Um, okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. According to the team, what was happening was that people were skirting around the island for safety, so they created a tentacled robo-monster to just add a little bit of spice to that adventure. Ah, uh, that's a good deterrent. I'm just running full tilt. No crouch, no slow. Full yeah. speed. There is. There are two speeds in this game. Stop and kill. Yep. I gonna... dare any robot to stand in my way. Sip a, a flask of tea. Well, I meant to hey! prove that this wasn't going to work, but I feel like it is actually gonna it's gonna work okay here. You did it! Woo! Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Take that, robots. I love it. <laughs> we cannot I can't be believe. stopped! I can't believe that's an equipable item. <laughs> I do to the moon! We did it! Woo! Woo! Robots, are y'all even paying attention? I, I... Oh, there we are. All right. Stand back, Dan. I've got him. <laughs> oh, where did bloody go? Where did... They... they just disappear sometimes, I feel like. I was about to have my... Matthew McConaughey uh, Reign of Fire jumping with an axe moment. Robbed. Oh, here comes the next one. Oh, I just drank the stout, so we'll throw a bottle. 
Over here! I got something for you! Jerk! Let's f***ing go! Oh god, he ran me over. <laughs> that was, that was ill-advised. Dog, where you go? Dog? Dog, where you going? Nope. No. Oh, yeah. He ran me over uh, twice! You okay? I, I'm severely broken! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get him! Ow. I'm trying! <laughs> you got an axe, uh, you got ah. everything you need! Oh. oh no. I perhaps could have come up with a better plan. This perhaps was not my best. <laughs> <laughs> but I had fun. Will, thank you so much for joining me for the, some more of this nonsense, and uh, I'm excited to see, I'm sure, when the, uh, when the re-release, the remaster comes out, I'm confident people will be able to see you streaming it over on your channel, which I'm putting on the screen right now. Oh, dude, thank you. I mean, yeah, uh, I would absolutely love it. And I am going to annoy the crap out of uh, Jim, who works on there. Be like, hey, Jim, hey, Jim, I'm very excited. Please give me a copy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, and I hope Jim does, because you're like the only person, as with many of the games you recommend to me, they're games that I've often not heard of and wouldn't have heard of otherwise. And they're like, you're the person I always hear singing their praise the loudest. I don't know how I became the that guy of, <laughs> of, of indie games, but here I am. Yep, um, here you are. The only disappointment I had with that particular run is on our stats at the end, it didn't show how many stories we started to tell and were interrupted by <laughs> robots. I would have preferred to have that. I'm glad it at least acknowledges the teas you drunk along the way. <laughs> right? <laughs> and again, if you get the chance to play single player, it does like a full stat breakdown. It's glorious. Uh, yeah, highly recommend it. They can't be, like, it can't be sold for much money at this point, especially given that it's going to be like a, have a new game a new version out very soon. So highly recommend it. If you enjoy some stealth nonsense and a little bit of a challenge, it's a good time. But yeah, Will, thank you so much for joining today. Hey, um, thank you for having me. Oh, uh, of you, know so. I love, you know I love doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was my pleasure. It was just fun having you back on and playing some fun, weird, challenging games <laughs> where we're always, I bring you on to play games here where we're playing very weak characters who are easily killed and we don't really succeed at a whole lot, but we have fun. <laughs> God, that's that's my whole ass brand. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's that's my style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining everyone. I'll see you next time for something else. Bye. Bye.